we've been, we've been walking in miracles and signs and wonders for nearly 20 years now. And, and some people don't understand that there's a difference between church and the kingdom. Amen? But I bring the kingdom to the church. Amen? I don't go to church. I am the church. But I want to demonstrate the kingdom wherever I go. Amen? I want to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. I want to cast out demons. I, I, I want to just see the, the supernatural, inevitable promises of God just spring forth. When you start to prophesy and you see those breakthroughs in the spirit realm, you see that where there was no rain and there was drought and you speak it out and it comes forth. You need to know that we're accessing the eternal powers of God, the supreme being of the universe who's living inside of us, but you're never going to get him out till he breaks the flesh. Amen. You cannot get wine out of a grape till you break the flesh of the grape. You can't get oil out of an olive till you break the flesh of the olive. And you can't get Jesus out of you until you break your flesh and let him out. He can live inside of you forever and never anybody in your life ever know he's living there with you. you got to break your flesh and let him out. Who let the Lord out? Who? 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 See, you, you don't know in a moment what God wants to do. You'd be walking down the street and God say, quickly, spit on your fingers and put it in her ears. Well, there's a reason he said do it quickly, so you don't change your mind. His mind is a terrible thing to waste. You don't waste his mind. I was in the service one night, and God said, quickly, spit on your fingers. Well, when he says to do it quickly, you don't even think about it. Oh, y'all looking at me like a toad in a hailstorm. You don't think God still has a spit ministry? Just wait till he starts yours. Just wait till he starts yours. I've, I've had a spit ministry for about 12 years now. God said, spit on your fingers, put it in his eyes. <laughs> spit on your fingers, put it in her ears. I was just in Africa a couple of months ago, and God said, spit on your finger and put it in his mouth. I went, wow, that's a new one. <laughs> but the little boy was mute. He'd, he'd been mute for six years from the womb, never spoke. But I had no idea. And so I'm spitting on my thumb to put it in his mouth. Just think about that one if you have to receive that anointing. He was looking at me like. And I had to pry his mouth apart to get my thumb in there. And the moment I did, he went, ha, 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 hallelujah. Ho, 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 Holy Spirit. Amen. We had, we had CNN called us up. CNN called us up and said, could we come into your miracle service tonight? And I was like, well, I, I guess so. I guess you can, you know. And so, yeah, we know it was. <laughs> and so they said, well, we're just going to film 10 or 15 minutes. We won't bother you. And I went, no, no problem. Just keep your cameras there. Five and a half hours later, everybody slain on the floor, slain in the spirit on the floor, and tears coming out of their eyes. And the CNN cameraman, this was them. Filming every tear coming down everyone's eyes while they were coming down their eyes too. You know why they were down on the floor? Because a 15-year-old girl who'd never seen out of her left eye, God said, spit on it. And I did. And I spit on it. And her eye was opened up instantly in front of her mother. And she covered her right eye and she started laughing. And I said, honey, why are you laughing? She goes, I've never seen from this side before. Imagine what's that, what, what that's like. God said, this is the acceptable time. When the whole world's crying, peace, peace, and safety, and sudden destruction comes, the whole world is about to be confounded when the Spirit of God falls upon us. When six billion souls have come into a union, in, into an agreement to have a, a president in our nation, and six billion people come into this, this spirit of this unity of the Spirit, but not the Spirit of unity. You understand? The unity of the Spirit is God, the Spirit of unity is Satan. Sounds the same, but it's not. But when all these people come into agreement, God said, now let us go down there and confound them. Now they've built a tower. Nothing will be withheld from them if they come into agreement. So the whole world came into agreement for this president. But this president can't perform because he's not God and he's not the Messiah. And he can't keep one single promise. That was a spirit that was poured out. And now Satan had to lose everything he had. Oh, you're not catching this. To bring this out for him which means his gates are open and everything he had is now available to us. Jesus, Jesus,